my background, I'm a registered nurse. I've been a nurse for a million years. I um, have had a very rich uh, um, career in nursing, done all kinds of things. Ended up in uh, hospital administration um, several years ago, and then uh, I got a little burned out and decided to start my own business. And so um, probably for the last 10 years or so, I have had a healthcare uh, consulting and executive recruitment firm that I have focused on, uh, which is great. Um, it's wonderful to be able to continue to work with hospitals and help support uh, the leadership there. First and foremost, you know, like we always say here at the We Don't Play station, that you are so welcome to join the playroom today, Nita. Good morning, and I'm Good so. <laughs> this is a great day to see you, and just to see how we can be able to connect. I'm so glad I've been able to connect with you this morning, and I'm looking forward to this conversation because there's a lot of things that we need to dive deep in. But before we do, I would love people to know who you are what you do so that they don't have like, oh, who is she? What is she talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's a, well, first of all, it's an honor to be here. I, it's great to meet you face to face. And uh, um, I really appreciate being able to share some of this information with your audience. Um, so I, my background, I'm a registered nurse. I've been a nurse for a million years. I um, have had a very rich uh, um, career in nursing, done all kinds of things. Ended up in uh, hospital administration um, several years ago, and then uh, I got a little burned out and decided to start my own business. And so, um, probably for the last ten years or so, I have had a healthcare uh, consulting and executive recruitment firm that I have focused on, uh, which is great. Um, it's wonderful to be able to continue to work with hospitals and help support uh, the leadership there. But I also um, got introduced to something a few years ago that made a huge difference in my life and in the life of my family. Um, and uh, last year, you know, I kind of put my toe in the water with it a few years ago, but last year decided that this is just something that I really want people to know about. I'm very, very focused on health, my health, the health of the, my family, my friends, but the health of the world because things have have changed so much for uh, for us over the past, you know, certainly over the past year, but over the past 15, 20, 25 years. So um, uh, what I've gotten involved with is exogenous ketones, and hopefully I'll be able to explain a little bit more about what that is and how that impacts our life and our health. And especially for the listeners that you've got um, that are entrepreneurs, they're, they're, you know, they're doing all kinds of creative things. Uh, which probably means that they're they're you know working about 24 hours a day and may not be focusing as much <clears throat> excuse me on themselves and on their health and so I I'm, I'm excited to share some of this information with them. Same here. I'm so glad you're able to be here because when we talk about dieting, we talk about health, wellness, mindset. These are things that we can definitely change today. But some people just don't like to because they're used to a certain habit or a certain pattern or a certain yeah. routine. So now when we think about being happy and being healthy and someone has to make a decision between that and what they're already used to, that says that there's a lot to dig in and you know dig out. So how does someone even start thinking about self-care? You know, um, I, I think there's if, if we're not exactly where we want to be health-wise... Um, I think the majority of us wake up every morning and say, today's the day, I'm going after it today, I'm going to go to the gym, I'm going to eat healthier, I'm going to, whatever it is, today's the day. And then uh, typically by about noon, um, all of that kind of starts falling apart. <laughs> and so, you know, it's it's very difficult. It's difficult to make changes, um, you know, in, in our habits. And so... I think that one of the things that has was so attractive to me about this product and about exogenous ketones is that it's a tool that kind of gives you the ability to be stronger with making better choices about how you're eating. And, you know, it's just tough to just say, okay, this is it. I'm going to eat this way today. And then you smell something or you get exposed to something or somebody brings something in for lunch or whatever it is. So, you know, we need something that makes us a little bit stronger. We don't all have that, you know, complete ability to just to just completely focus. 
So, um, you know, I think, I think the first thing is, and you kind of said it, is that, you know, you have to decide what is it that you want for your, for yourself health wise. Um, are you struggling? Do you want to, you know, it's not just about looking better, although, you know, most of us, we, we are a little vain. We want to feel better. We want to look better in, in clothes, maybe a bathing suit, whatever. But I think the biggest thing is just how do we feel and what are we experiencing? You know, are we already maybe in our 20s or in our 80s? I don't care what your age is. Are we already experiencing health issues? Are we already taking medications? Are we already, you know, not just waking up in the morning and not feeling like you can move very well? So I think it's a, it starts with just really a desire for change. If you have no desire for change, then, you know, you don't even need to listen to this. But if you have any inkling of a desire to change, then I think it's this is really helpful information to know and understand because... It can, it can just help to guide you where you want to go. Yeah. It's great that you mentioned this because when you think about energy, focus, sleep, those are things that we, we definitely want to be doing. And I like how you said you have to really make a choice. Because for me, uh, one of our clients told, told me about this app called Sleep Cycle. I don't know if you've heard about it. And it really helps. It shows you the regularity. It shows you like the average, like they said, even the average person in the U.S. sleeps for about seven hours, 20 something minutes. So that's a good time. But we kind of fall short or go above it. So those are good metrics to really help us know how are we able to sleep? Are we sleeping the right way? Are we sleeping? the? Are we, are we doing the right thing? But also... We think about it from another perspective when it comes to like losing weight, you know, oh, I need to go to the gym. Like you said, some people, I I hear things and I don't know, you can tell me this. When when someone says they can drink water and then they go to eat 30 minutes after they drink water and then they, they actually lose about 40 something percent more of their weight when they do that connecting to what they're eating rather than just eating on a, on an empty stomach. How does that play a role in your health, in your bowels? Like, how does that play a role in, like, your whole digestive system? Yeah, you know, it's really interesting because I think the majority of us are dehydrated and we don't necessarily recognize it. Um, So drinking water is, I mean, it's so simple and yet it's so critical for our health because our everything, our cells depend on a certain amount of water. And so it's like... You know, if you're drinking water, you're you're flushing your body out all the time. I mean, that's just something that you really want to do for a ton of different reasons. But um, and I think sometimes for some people, drinking water just kind of helps to fill them up a little bit, so maybe they won't eat as much. Right. Um, you know, it, and that's just kind of one of those little tips or little secrets that a lot of people that focus on weight loss or fat loss might share with people. Um, but I think even if you don't, if you have nothing to lose, if you're you know this big and you just have have no uh, body fat that you're necessarily looking to lose. You still want your your cells to be as healthy as possible mm-hmm. because that's that's what we live and function off of. You know, we've got we've got um, every every organ, every all of our blood, everything is is focused on our cellular at the cellular level, and so you do want to be you know you do want to take care of things at the cellular level as well. You know, it's um, it's interesting when you look at the statistics and and I do want to just say too just you know so that the audience understands everything that I'm sharing is is really for informational purposes I'm not I'm not trying to give any medical advice or or anything like that I I am a nurse but I'm not a health specialist I'm not a doctor but I think I am so passionate about people having the information that they need um, to make decisions to make the right decisions and You know, if you look at some of the statistics, like uh, um, the Centers for Disease uh, uh, Control has a statistic right now that shows that six in 10 Americans have a chronic disease and four in 10 actually have two or more. That's like that's like mind boggling to me to think about what's happened with our overall health over the past however many years. And so, you know, a lot of times people will look at that and say, you know, 
there's nothing I can do about it, this runs in my family, this, you know, whatever. And I want people to know that there is something you can do about it. You can start to make those changes today. It doesn't, I don't care how bad things are or whatever, we can all start to transform. Um, and I've seen it. I've seen it in so many people, whether it's been a mental transformation or a, a physical transformation or whatever it is. But it's like when you look at that statistic, and another one is that um, in the United States, and all these other countries are right behind us, so that's, you know, but we happen to be the leaders. <laughs> but almost 70% of our population is either obese or overweight. And it's like, oh my goodness, you know, when you think about, when you think about having, carrying extra body fat and how that can impact your overall health, um, no wonder we're seeing the chronic disease that we're seeing. Mm. So, you know, my, my, I have a personal passion about wanting people to know and understand that there, that there, that there are tools out there. There are things that people can do to try to turn this around and not necessarily see this, uh, see some of these things as their destiny, because it's not, we can, we can be a lot healthier. We can, we can age better. We can, you know, just feel better, look better, the whole thing. It's great that you said that because it, I saw some stats yesterday talking about how the the lifespan has gone down because of last year by like yeah. one one point five years, but at the same time I saw wow. right and I saw another article a couple of years ago talking about how this generation the next generation are going to really live longer like as far as lifespan because of the technology and the information and how people can treat themselves better. So it's like a dichotomy effect now. I'm like, okay, so we lost 1.5 years, but we can still live to 90 or 100. So how is it going to play out? Maybe, maybe it just depends on which road you take, right? You know, you, you take that road that, that just, oh, I can't change. I can't do, you know, and yeah, we're going to go down that, you know, keep, keep decreasing the life, the life expectancy, or you take that other road and you let information and you let technology be a part of your, your self care and, and your health track. And, and you're right. There's so many tools out there uh, that people can use. And uh, you know, this is, this is one of them. So. Exactly. I'm glad that we're able to talk about this today because some people are not happy some people don't yeah. think they can get a healthier version like you mentioned. And some people think that dieting techniques is really where it's at. But it could be. It also could not be. So how do they stop feeling like a failure so that they can focus more on self-care, not self-doubt? Um, okay, so let me let me explain a little bit about, um, about where all of this, what I'm talking about, kind of where all this has come from. And I think that will help to think about how people can shift their mindset and start to really shift their, their health. Um, so a lot of people have, have heard of the ketogenic diet, but might not necessarily understand what that is. Or the one thing that a lot of people do know is that it's something that's extremely beneficial, but extremely difficult to follow. So just to kind of start with the basics there, the back in, this is over a hundred years ago, back in the 1920s, um, there were some doctors that figured out that if they if they gave children they were focused on kids that had epilepsy and if they gave children a very high fat very low carbohydrate diet which is what became the ketogenic diet that that either eliminated or significantly decreased the um, the seizures that these children were having with epilepsy and over the years um, they, you know, as medications came in and whatever, the, the, sh the focus on that shifted a little bit, I think. Um, and, you know, the drugs were winning out maybe more over the diet. But then as, you know, there was conti uh, continuous research that, that went on over these past hundred years centered around ketones and trying to understand what is all of this, what does this diet do, whatever. And I think it, um, it all kind of came back to life a little bit stronger um, around the 1990s or so, because um, a lot of people that were well known figured out the ketogenic diet, started going on the ketogenic diet, were having really good results, and that kind of brought it all back to life. 
Well, the ketogenic diet is is something that is, you know, if you look at what our typical standard American diet is, most of us are um, eating about 65 to 70 percent carbohydrates in our diet, right? If you were to follow a ketogenic diet, you're about 5% carbohydrates. That means no bread, no crackers, no cookies, no, you know, all of those things. So, but if somebody follows a ketogenic diet, um, what's happening is you're increasing the amount of fat that you're eating in your diet. You're decreasing the amount of carbohydrates significantly. Now, most of us, our bodies are functioning off of glucose as our fuel source, right? We are eating a lot of carbohydrates in what we're eating. That is, that's the sugar and that's what is the fuel source that our bodies are functioning off of. That's also what's making us very, very sick. And um, <clears throat> if somebody just starts to decrease the amount of, not go on the ketogenic diet, but just starts to decrease the amount of carbohydrates and starts to bring that down, What's happening is that if your body doesn't have as much carbohydrates, it doesn't have as much sugar and glucose, which means it doesn't have as much insulin that's being produced because insulin carries the, the glucose. And if you don't have as much insulin being produced, then there's this, this process going on in your body where your body fat starts to break down the, body, the fat cells. And the, the purpose is because it's trying to give your body some energy, trying to give it the fuel source that it needs. And there's a, some stuff that's going on. You've got the fat cells that are starting to break down, going to the liver. The liver creates these ketones. And the ketones now are what's being used in your body as fuel. So just, you know, the, again, decrease the carbohydrates and your body starts naturally producing ketones. Um, and then your body is using the ketones for fuel. Now, the, the amazing thing about this is that our bodies actually prefer ketones over glucose for fuel, and especially our brains, because what, what happens is when somebody starts to get ketones in their body, one of the first things that they notice is kind of clarity, energy, focus, yeah. productivity. It's just this different level of brain health that you have. And part of the reason for that is that um, glucose glucose is not the best thing for a brain, but ketones, when you get ketones that are just going over the blood brain barrier into the brain, it's like as if you're pouring water on a dead plant. You've got, your brain just kind of comes alive. So um, one of the things that happened, um, there was, this was back around, uh, let's see, I think it was early 2000s or, or something like that. Anyways, I'm sorry, I can't remember the exact year, but the Navy, the United States Navy and the Department of Defense was trying to deal with an issue that the Navy divers were having. And the issue was that, you know, these Navy divers will dive very, very deep. And a lot of times they'll wear this oxygen rebreather mask, which helps to prevent bubbles from going to the surface. So obviously if, you know, they don't want to be detected, that's a great thing. But apparently sometimes what will happen is that this oxygen rebreather mask will cause them to black out or have seizures. So the Navy was trying to figure out how do we, you know, how do we deal with this issue? And they knew about the ketogenic diet. So they started looking through, you know, trying to find who are the top world's researchers in the ketogenic diet. And they actually landed on, um, uh, his name is Dr. Dominic D'Agostino, who is here in Florida. He's at the University of South Florida, um, who's one of the top researchers with the ketogenic diet and ketones. And he, um, they, they worked together. There were several years of research. And they, what they were saying was, is there a pill? Is there something that, you know, you can create that we can give these divers and really kind of turn them into more of super soldiers and, and try to prevent these issues from happening. And that led to several years of research. And the end of that research was the development of exogenous ketones, meaning that it's something you can, it's a powder, it's mixed with water, I drink it, and I'm actually putting ketones into my body versus my body having to produce the ketones. Mm -hmm. So on one hand, I can either eat extremely, extremely low carbohydrates and my body's gonna produce ketones, which is gonna be a really, really healthy thing for me, or I can drink these ketones, put the ketones into my body and experience the same level of ketosis 
and have these ketones in there and start experiencing the same benefits to my health. So that's kind of a long explanation of, of kind of where this all came from. Yeah. But, um, and what happens is if I am drinking the, the ketones, um, I'm experiencing the same thing. I'm getting the same benefits. I'm sleeping better. I have accelerated fat loss. I have better brain health, so I have more clarity and more more focus. Um, but at the same time, you know, as it's focusing on accelerating the fat loss, it's preserving my muscle. So there's just phenomenal benefits to having ketones in your body, whether you do it purely through diet or whether you do it through um, a product like this, exogenous ketones, and if your goal is to lose body fat, then just start decreasing your carbohydrates, and it's going to help you do the same thing. You don't have to take it to the level of a ketogenic diet. So that's kind of a kind of a long-winded <laughs> explanation, but I think it's helpful to understand where this came from because up until 2015, um, these product exogenous ketones didn't exist. They mm. weren't something that people could get their hands on and i love the packaging by the way i, I oh, love yeah. the color is striking it's very yeah. <laughs> exactly exactly tell tell us more about how you build that packaging because a lot of times people think oh yeah we just drew this on the sketch pad and it came out looking nice so it wasn't a cookie cutter method how were you able to put it so well that people actually love what they look at before they even take it in yeah, you know, um, so what happened was when when this product was produced um, and created, the company uh, the company is called Prove It, P R U V I T, and Prove It was the first company to obtain the rights to manufacture and produce these exogenous ketones. So they were working with the University of South Florida. Um, initially, they didn't taste very good at all. They were not something that could be really taken to market because people would not have enjoyed drinking them. So they were able to work with the flavors, work with the, the, um, the, the taste of it so that it became something that people would really enjoy if they, if they drank it. And they took the product to market in 2015. And here we are, you know, five, six years later. And it initially one flavor. Um, now it's completely expanded, as you mentioned. Um, you know, this one of the things when people are starting the program or starting the um, to experience the ketones, a lot of times I recommend this is a 10 day ketone challenge, which basically is. 20 different packets and it's different flavors that people can try to get an idea of what they um, of what flavors they might like but i think it's important to know that this is a product that is gluten-free um, dairy-free uh, it is um, it comes in the multiple flavors it is uh, caffeinated or non-caffeinated so they've, they've really been able to think about how can you produce the healthiest product that not only is something healthy that people are putting in their bodies, but is going to help them improve their overall health. And you're right, they've done a beautiful job of the packaging. You know, this is like one of the flavors, is one of my favorite flavors, raspberry lemonade. Um, and they've done a beautiful job of the packaging, the marketing. And I think the, the number one reason is because um, the, you know, being involved with this company, the, the number one focus is on educating people, educating the public. Because again, if you ask people, do you know what ketones are? Do you know what ketosis is? A lot of times you're going to hear, no, I've heard of it. I don't really know what it is. I don't really understand it. I don't know how it could benefit me. And so we're very, very, very focused on education, whether it's videos or, or um, you know, there's all kinds of classes and courses and, and, you know, conferences and things like that. But the biggest thing is to just help people understand that this is a tool that when I drink this, and I probably drink three, you know, three of these a day, you can drink one a day and have significant benefits from this. Um, two is optimal. But what happens is if you're drinking this, you are, it, the ketones help to decrease your appetite. They help to decrease your cravings. That alone is a tool that if I woke up this morning and said, I want to start changing my health. If I can have something that can help, help me not be as hungry, help me not have as many cravings, I can be a little more determined toward making the right choices. If I have something that kind of boosts my, my brain a little bit, gives me a lift in my energy, 
I might be a lot more apt to go out and walk or to go to the gym today or, you know, whatever it is that I might like to do physically. So that's why I feel like it is a, the most significant thing is that this is a tool to partner with your desire for change and accelerate the success, I guess, of, um, of that, that desire for change. Amazing. That's something that I think a lot of people would definitely benefit from in case they didn't know that there was something like that that existed. Now they know. <laughs> so. Yes, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And when you think about the Kato flu as well, yeah. now some people don't even know what that is to start with. <laughs> so Yeah. That's do- a really that's a really good question. Um, yeah. So Let's say that somebody found out about the ketogenic diet and they said, okay, I'm, I'm all in, I'm going to do this. I'm going to, I'm going to follow the, you know, 80, 85% uh, fat, 5% carbohydrates, maybe 10% protein. Again, very, very difficult, but say that somebody decides that they're going to do the ketogenic diet either for health purposes or body fat purposes or whatever. Um, as soon as they start to make that change in their diet, think about it it's dramatically different than how you typically eat, right? And your body is going through a lot of transition. It's going through that process that I mentioned before where you're shifting your fuel source from glucose to ketones. You got a lot going on with your body fat cells, um, your fat cells. You've got a lot going on with your liver. And a lot of people will experience the keto flu basically meaning that they don't feel very good for a period of time. And for some people that might just be a couple of days. For some people it can be a couple of weeks and you got to endure through that. If you really want to get to the point where your body is in ketosis, meaning that your body is actually producing those ketones now. And if you were to uh, do a blood, a blood test, a keto stick, uh, or, or even the urine sticks to see if you've got ketones in your bloodstream and in your body. Um, you would, it will take you a period of time to get to that point where you would see those, uh, those ketones. So a lot of people don't make it through that. It's difficult to get past that. And then what, if you do, so let's say it took you a week or so to get through that keto flu. Now your body is in ketosis. It's producing its own ketones. Um, but then you go out to lunch and you decide to eat, you know, a sandwich. It's going to knock you right out of ketosis. Now you're kind of back to ground zero, which and you got to go through it all again. So not a fun process necessarily. The um, the great thing about the exogenous ketones is that when I mix this up, and let's just say that I've been eating crappy, you know, for a year, and I and I take one of these packets and I I mix it up. <clears throat> with maybe, you know, 16 ounces of water um, and I drink it, within less than an hour, my body will be in ketosis. So I could take a urine stick and I could see that I've got ketones in my body. And that's amazing because I will have felt great. I, there's no, you bypass any, any keto flu that, it, you know, while your body's going into ketosis. And so it's a hundred percent guarantee that you will go, your body will be in ketosis in less than an hour. Um, so now I can, I can either just drink this and make no other changes, or I can let it be the tool that we've talked about and just start to make some changes with my diet, start to decrease the carbs. Don't have to necessarily get into, go onto the ketogenic diet because every time I drink this, I'm going to get into ketosis. And it's going to help. Those ketones are now in my body and in my bloodstream, and they're going to help with all these other benefits that we've mentioned. So I'm going to feel I'm going to feel better. I'm going to not be as hungry. I'm going to have a little more clarity, have a different level of energy. I'm going to sleep better. Um, My mood is probably going to be lifted a little bit. So whether it's the the brain health benefits or the overall body benefits, physical benefits. there's just, there's so much that can happen in an hour and then you can kind of carry on from there. We, you know, we always recommend that if people truly have a health goal um, and you think about it, you know, let's say that somebody's 40 years old and they really have not taken care of themselves for 40 years. You know, they didn't become unhealthy in a week. It was 40 years of bad decision making maybe, you know? Um, and so you're not gonna turn your health around in a day. But we always recommend that if people can give themselves 60 to 90 days 
of drinking the ketones and just paying attention and starting to shift some of these things, start to move your body, start to decrease the carbohydrates, start to make some better choices. You don't have to be perfect, but you will see a pretty significant difference in your in how you feel in that short of a period of time. So it's uh, it's it's exciting to see how people have truly been able to transform their life um, in so many different ways. Mm. This is beautiful because now people will start researching. Oh, I gotta go on Amazon. I gotta figure out how to get this now. Don't go on Amazon. <laughs> go, go to my website. Exactly. Please I'll stay. I'll teach you everything you need to know. <laughs> exactly, because some people think that. And it's great that you said that because sometimes people think, oh, yeah, I'm not going to pay you. I'm going to just go on YouTube or Google and I'll figure it out. And I'm like, feel free. The world is yours. Hey, absolutely. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but the difference comes in when somebody that you know that you actually trust hands you that experience yeah. that you will never be able to get on Google. And that's where that transformation comes in. And you, you're part of that. Yeah. You know, and I, I just would like to share a quick story um, about what it was that... It, that I guess inspired me to be um, to want to drink this product. When I was first introduced to it, which was about five years ago actually, um, a friend of mine had invited me to come and listen to some information, and I really had no interest. But I said, "Okay, fine, I'll you know support you." So I went and I listened to this information, and these individuals were talking about this product, talking about ketones, talking about ketosis talking about, you know, um, the impact that all of this can help have on your health. But the one thing that really stood out to me was when they were talking about the, the potential of impacting your brain health. And at the time, um, I, my mother had been living with me for about six years and my mother had some significant health challenges. Um, and everything was kind of affected. She had lived a very, very healthy life, but up until, you know, those last couple of years, um, everything shifted, uh, you know, her, her balance, uh, her, her cognition, all of these things just started to shift. And, um, and, you know, she needed to live with me so that I could help her with a lot of the things that she needed help with. Well, when I started, when I got introduced to the product, I thought, I wonder if this is something that, you know, would help my mom. And um, so I you know, went home, I told my mother about it. At the time she was 90 years old and my mother was a very stubborn little, you know, thing. And she just, I, you know, I'm not going to try anything. I didn't know she, she wanted to trust her pills and everything else. So I, um, as any good little daughter would do, I started mixing it in the, the Gatorade that I would give her every day. She had no idea she was drinking it. Um, but I wanted her to, I, I just wanted to try to get this into her body and see if it would make a difference. So she had no idea she was drinking it. And after about five days, she said something to me about her writing, you know, and, she, and at this point, my mother's writing was chicken scratch, right? And um, she said something about her writing. And, and I said, what are you talking about? She said, I just feel like my writing is better. And I pulled out a piece of paper and I, I said, well, write your name. I had her write her name. And when she wrote it, I, I literally fell to my knees. It was the beautiful cursive that she had had all her life. And I thought, oh my God, you know, there's something. And, you know, I will tell you that we were able to get her to drink it from that point on. She passed away a year later. My mother was 91 at that point. Um, you know, the things, the conditions that she was dealing with um, definitely had taken a toll on her life. But that last year of her life, the quality of her life was significantly different. And I know that it was because we were getting ketones into her body. Her balance was better. Her cognition was better. Her writing was better. Everything, you know, just that overall quality of life made such a significant difference. And I think that's one of the reasons why I feel so passionate. It's like, oh, it's helped me to lose body fat. It helps me, you know, with my muscle preservation, all these other things, which are great. But that experience was one of the things that just, I just feel like I need to, you know, shout from the rooftops to let people know that there is something that can make a difference for them. And maybe it's for their family member, maybe it's for their children, maybe it's for their parents, who knows? But there is something that can make a difference and it's worth a try, <laughs> you know? It's like, um, it's, it's just worth, it's worth a try. So, but that was, a, that was the thing that really um, caused me to dig into the research dig into the science, <clears throat> which is significant. I yeah. just want to understand this a lot more. This is great because now, as you mentioned this, in my head, I was only thinking, 
why is it that home care units don't have this in their drawer in their in their you know in their cupboard you know this is something that if a lot of them can be able to know about and do and maybe have as a routine their their lifestyle would be better even as they're getting yeah. better so but i don't see that i don't hear this i don't in the country i do not hear about this so is it something yeah. of concern or is this something that people just don't know what to do with the information you know it's really interesting if you think about um you know and believe me i i, I you know 100 support traditional medicine i've been in you know healthcare my entire life um and you know obviously <clears throat> there's certain things that that people have to do people have to take whatever it is but I think that, you know, sometimes when you think about traditional medicine, <clears throat> excuse me, traditional medicine as compared to, um, you know, maybe some holistic medicine and different things that people um, that people are able to uh, share with others, it's sometimes they clash, you know, and, and sometimes people just don't, they, they might believe one way and they don't necessarily want to have an open mind another way. Um, I think, you know, this is, this is a product that, is um is is not you know nutrition is not necessarily taught in medical school um you know so but i think we've seen a lot of doctors that have been you know have been exposed to the product they understand it a lot of chiropractors and they want to share this kind of stuff with their with their patients and with their clients um, but I think that it is one of those things because it's not something that you're writing a prescription for, because it's not something that's sitting on a shelf in CVS or whatever, um, you know, it, it is something that takes education. And it's, it's, you know, being able to have people be exposed to that education or be exposed to that information and then making a choice to just try it and see if it makes a difference for them or maybe for their family member. Um, I think that's why we have to focus on the educational side of things and just kind of letting people know. I mean, I'm a promoter of this product. My, you know, one of my major goals is, you know, to find other people who might have that kind of passion that are interested in a business opportunity, part-time, full-time, whatever, that, you know, would also want to, um, you know, share this information with people across the world. Um, but I think that it's, you know, down the road, I mean, I hope that at some point in time, we see this kind of thing becoming much more of the traditional approach. Um, if nutrition was the first avenue to, you know, impacting somebody's health, a lot of other avenues might need to be or could be avoided, probably. Um, and it's interesting, you know, sometimes I don't know if you've heard the term type three diabetes, but if you and this is a this is a term that is um, different health practitioners, different neurologists, different doctors have um, have shared and, and type three diabetes when they're, they're referring to dementia and Alzheimer's. Um, and some of the things that actually affect the brain. And the reason that, that that has become kind of a term is because one of the things that happens with the brain is that it can become insulin resistant over time. As we get older, whatever, it can become insulin resistant. And if you think about what I was mentioning in the very beginning, you know, glucose has to be carried by insulin in order to get into the cells. Well, if your brain is having some level of insulin resistance, it means that the or the insulin can't carry the glucose into the brain. So the brain is not getting the energy that it needs to for everything, for everything that we do. It's, it's our kinetic chain, right, to everything. Um, but the beauty of ketones is that ketones easily cross the blood-brain barrier. They don't have to be carried in by insulin or by anything else. And so, again, it's kind of like if somebody is able to get ketones into their body, they're getting ketones into their brain, and it's it, there's a whole different impact maybe in how they can think, how they the clarity, um, uh, the, the focus that they can have. So um, I would love to see every human being, you know, experiencing that and getting a feeling of what it feels like. Most people, the first time that they mix this up and drink it, you feel it. You feel that that difference and a lot of times that is um you know i think one of the things i've looked at the you know the kind of the statistics with our with proven with the company most people are drinking this product probably about 80 percent of the people start drinking these ketones because they have body fat that they want to lose mm. but 
the majority of people continue to drink it because they recognize all the other benefits. You know, when you sleep better, when you think better, when you have a different level of energy, all of those things are not only helping you to, to you know, accelerate fat loss, but they're just helping you to feel better overall. So you're functioning better. Um, I think about, you know, as an entrepreneur, and I think about all the people that are probably listening to you on a regular basis, they're all entrepreneurs or they've got an entrepreneurial spirit in them. They either, you know, they're either pursuing their, their entrepreneurial dreams or they want to. And so they're learning all these tools and, and tips and, and you share so much marketing information, which is phenomenal. Um, but I do have to think sometimes that, you know, entrepreneurs sometimes are, you know, they, they're, they're getting some pretty bad habits, right? They're, they're working from morning till night. They're um, maybe not eating as healthy. They're, you know, not working out as much as they did because they're focusing on building the business or they got all this stress, all of these things that, you know, you've got this phenomenal um, uh, benefit of being an entrepreneur and maybe building your own business. And at the same time, you might be paying a huge price with your health to get there. So I love for people to know and understand that this is, this is a product that can help them succeed with their business because they're going to feel better. They're going to probably eat better. They're going to sleep better. Um, they're going to think a little clearer and, uh, they're going to pay a little more attention to themselves and the self care that you mentioned, um, than maybe what they might be doing right now. Yeah, I think so too. And I love how you mentioned that it's all about the focus and how you can be able to take it in, understand the knowledge. Cause if you don't know, you don't know. And, yeah. and those things really go a long way. Because now I'm thinking about the secrets of improving your energy levels, your sleep, because we talked about sleep a little bit. We've talked about the brain function, how you can lose your body fat and keep it off. And there are some and, you know, you talked about this and I already think about, you know, like you said, with NASA, with the NASA, the Navy divers, the professional athletes that are out there. Look at the Olympics is coming soon, you know, like so when you think about all these things and body and fat and diet and sleep. How, how optimal is this performance for them to make sure that there is a cohesive pattern? Oh, you know, I'll tell you, it, just think about like when you've had a night that you didn't, you, you just couldn't sleep, whatever. You had something on your mind or too much noise, whatever it is, there's something. Your, your functioning the next day is nowhere near par, right? You're, you, you're dragging, you don't feel good, you want to take a nap, you, you know, you just, you're just not there 100%. And, um, and so I think, you know, there are Olympic athletes that drink exogenous ketones because they're looking for that fraction of a second difference in their, in how they perform, right? For, for some person, it might be that they want to, you know, they want to lose 30 pounds, 40 pounds, 50 pounds, whatever it is. But then you take somebody on the extreme other side of it, that is a high level, you know, top level athlete in the world. And, you know, they're looking for a different um, outcome. They're, they're just looking to be able to kind of beat their competition, which we know is just like hairline fracture of a difference, right? Um, so, you know, one of the things that I, I think, I look at this as these, this product, I would love for this product to become a staple in everybody's lifestyle. You know, I've been drinking it several times a day for five years, and I know that my life, my health, my look, my whatever, um, is very different today than it was five years ago. It's also very different than what it would have been had I not been exposed. For me, a big part of this is, I'll just kind of categorize it into anti-aging, um, because you know, as we get older, there's just so much that's going on that people think you can't do anything about. And yet, the, you know, we can do something about it. The way we fuel our body, is either going to accelerate or maybe even decelerate a little bit of how the aging process happens. Um, there's a there's another um, product that the company makes that came out uh, a year or so ago that I you know absolutely as soon as I dug into the research on that have added that which is called Mitoplex and and if you think about what that is doing is it's basically helping to accelerate the development of mitochondria. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of our cell. And what happens just very simply, as we get older, we lose mitochondria. And that is what accelerates age and aging. And so, you know, I kind of feel like I've figured out the 
the best combination for me, which when I see other people kind of replicating what I'm doing, they're having the same kinds of results. But, you know, drinking the ketones, drinking this other product to, to put that in, you know, to help with the, the mitochondria, decreasing the carbohydrates. I don't eat perfectly, but, you know, I, I don't have to go out and eat junk food all day long. I, I you know, because I'm not hungry, um, you know, I'm, I'm doing a level of intermittent fasting without even purposely doing that, you know, and that's a really beneficial thing for, uh, for our body. So the combination of being able to have the energy to wake up at five o'clock every morning and go to the gym and work out first thing in the morning, because after that, the rest of the day, you know, <laughs> just falls apart. So, you know, I can't, I can't think about trying to go to the gym later in the day. I got to do it first thing in the morning and get it out of the way. But you know, and having ketones right from the, the beginning of the day, that's the first thing that goes into my body. And, you know, being able to just kind of gauge how I'm eating uh, the rest of the day is what keeps me a hundred percent, literally. I mean, it's just very rare that I, um, that I don't have the energy to do the things that I want to do or to feel like I'm at a hundred percent. And yet when I lay my head down on the pillow at night, Good night, Irene. I mean, I'm sleeping like a baby the rest of the night. So now I know I'm going to wake up tomorrow. I'm going to feel good about working out. I'm going to feel good about the things that I might need to jump into. So um, it's a it's a habit. It's a pattern. And, you know, the good thing is that people can start very slow. They just drink one of these. Just start slow and, and then, you know, start going from there as you start learning more about it. You start experiencing the different things that you might be feeling. Um, and just start making the changes because it's, you know, I think about the past year and a half and I don't, I don't think that our health has been more important than what we've experienced in the past year and a half. And I think that that's been a real wake up call for a lot of people, um, you know, recognizing the impact of being obese or having you know being overweight or or whatever it is and how that might affect you if you get sick if you know something and so it's like let's be proactive let's start making the changes today um and and know that it's going to just i mean it's, it's going to make things so much better from now to the day that we you know head off of this earth um and just, you know, it's, it's just going to make a huge difference. It's like the, the proof it's uh, mission, if you will, is to inspire people to become a better version of themselves. That's so simple. It's like wherever you are today, you know, just every day can be a little better, a little better. I, and I think sometimes people can get so overwhelmed with thinking, oh my God, I have a hundred pounds to lose. There's no way I could ever do this. I, I just can't do it, whatever. It is overwhelming, but one step at a time, whatever it is, if it's building a business, if it's, you know, taking care of your family, whatever it is, one step at a time can get you closer and closer and closer to, you know, re where you really want to be. Yeah. The wise man says, you know, the journey of a thousand miles is with one step. <laughs> <I love laughs> it starts it. with exactly. one step. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. it's great that I'm hearing this and I'm, I'm glad that the, the people listening are also taking heed because this is information that is valuable. And once they listen, they're like, huh, maybe I'm really taking a lot of carbohydrates. Maybe I'm taking a lot of, you know, things that I'm not supposed to be, you know, putting into my system. So with your background as an executive in the nursing industry, how can you guide someone's decision right now and give them one tip that can help them because you, you know about consumer brands and the health industry. You're very knowledgeable yeah. about what goes on out there. Some people think, oh, supplements are good. Some supplements are not. Some people think, oh, steroids yeah. are good. Steroids are not. So there's always this dichotomy effect and there's always something going on in the, in the brains of people. But what's one thing that they can take today and say, okay, I'm going to start doing this. And then that one step will turn into other steps. Yeah, yeah, that's... That's a, that's a really great question because it's very overwhelming out there. Um, you're right. There are so many different diets and products and all kinds of things. And, you know, I never had an interest in standing behind or supporting or selling or marketing uh, any kind of product. I mean, my life was, you know, in hospitals and in healthcare, and it was, it, you know, I never had any interest in that. But, um, 
when I when I started to go through some of the personal experiences, first starting with my mom, for you know, starting with myself, and you know, losing some of the body fat that I wanted to lose, my son-in-law losing 80 pounds in a very you know, probably uh, I guess less than three month period of time, changing his life dramatically, and just seeing this impact in my immediate family, um, you know, first of all, said this is something I want to take. Um, you know, I, I, this is a, this is something I want to put into my body because I can see the difference that it can make, but it wasn't until really last year when I kind of just decided that, you know, there's, there's room for another arm of business here. And if I'm going to pursue anything else, I want it to be something that can truly make a difference in people's lives. You know, when you're, you know, if any of your listeners are, um, are in healthcare or have been in healthcare, whether, you know, whatever aspect, nursing, being a doctor, you know, whatever it is, um, they, they have seen firsthand the impact on, on people's health and, and how that can affect your life. And a lot of us, I think now, unfortunately have seen that in our families, maybe even in ourselves. So we've experienced some of this firsthand. And, um, you know, when I look at that, I think, I just want people to live healthier lives. I mean, I do this as a business and yes, I do it to make money and I want, you know, I will continue to learn marketing tools and all these other things that, that you're going to do no matter what your business is that you're focusing on. But I, if I never made a dime at this, I would still be shouting from the rooftops because I want people to live healthier lives. We have enough crap going on in the world that affects us or, you know, whatever it might be. And, and, you know, we have enough coming our way that if we can, if we can focus on having a better, a healthier lifestyle, um, it's just going to make everything so much better. So I, I just would encourage people to, um, uh, take a look at my information. Um, if I can plug my, my, my website, it's legacyofexcellence.pro, L-E-G-A-C-Y of O-F excellence, E-X-C-E-L-L-E-N-C-E dot pro, legacyofexcellence.pro. Um, this is just a place that you can go to get more information. You, you don't, you know, you don't have to put your name in whatever, if you have no interest in that, but at least take a look at the information. Um, and, and, you know, educate yourself a little bit more. There is, you know, there's a way to get a free ebook and some other things. There's a way to contact me or have me, you know, set up time so that we could talk individually. But I love the ability to be able to talk to people about um, their health. And again, not trying to give medical advice or anything like that, but just letting people know about this product, encouraging them to try it and starting to see if it makes a difference in how they feel and maybe what they're experiencing. So I would encourage people, there's a way to get a, you know, a, a, um, a trial pack. Uh, people don't have to make some big significant investments, you know, to, to try it for 25 bucks. They can be trying, trying the product. Um, uh, but I think, you know, that's what I would really love for people to do is at least tap into the education a little bit, you know, it, it, and some people have no interest in that. They just want to know where do I get the product. I, I'm going to try it, you know, and that's great. You can do that too. You can just go ahead and get to the ordering and, and try it. Um, but that's what, that's what I would really love for, uh, for people to do. And, and it's just, um, like I said, that the, being a nurse and being in healthcare and seeing so many things firsthand, um, I just, you know, there, there's just so much uh, pain and discomfort that we don't necessarily have to go through. And if we can just shift things a little bit, if people can just move their bodies a little, change a little bit in how they're, they're eating, get the right kind of fuel, start functioning off of ketones instead of glucose, um, you know, it just won't, it will make a big difference in, in how you live your life and how, uh, maybe where your future is headed. Yeah, I think so too. And guys, please make sure you're able to check in on the website because when you do, Nita is going to be there and is going to make sure that you're straight. You have your keto diet plan ready. You're good to go. So you don't have to worry about focusing on Google and any other social media platform. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely, <laughs> exactly. it, it, and it's a good thing because when you yeah. have people like you talking about things like this, it feels, I feel more confident to take on the day and take on something because I can hear someone else's story rather than just thinking, oh yeah, I'm the only one doing this, hooray. You know, like, it's not yeah. that, it's not that interesting. 
unless somebody else has talked about something that you actually need that when they see that there's a need for they actually pay attention to and people say when they pay for something they pay attention to it exactly exactly and you know it's good to know too because i think you have an international audience it's good to know that you know this product is in the the company is functioning in 27 different countries um, and that's just continuing to grow on a a day-to-day basis Um, but because we recognize that this isn't just the you know an american issue this is an international issue and people all over the world are concerned about their health and want to want to have that knowledge and want to know that there there maybe are some tools out there that can start to make that difference for them so um yeah i i think uh you know it's it's um it's definitely worth a try if what you've been doing doesn't have you a hundred percent physically a hundred percent mentally um you know you have nothing to lose but but try yeah and the other thing is that the company prove it has a 100 percent guarantee so if somebody even were to you know order the product and try it and it, within 30 days if they don't like it they can send it back for a whole you know um refund on on their money so you have nothing to lose so yeah okay okay definitely it's also going to be in the description by the way if you guys didn't know this so make sure you check the podcast description the link is going to be there so you can access it you don't have to go too far this is great thank you so much so much nita thank you i i really really appreciate i love having the conversation it's great to meet you i really appreciate being able to share this information with your audience because i know that they are they're movers and shakers and they're out there and they're making a difference in the world. And I just want to make sure they stay healthy while they're doing that. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much. And I definitely know that when they reach out to you, they're going to look at this episode. They'll be like, yeah, I remember what you said. (laughs) (laughs) That's great. Awesome. You're welcome. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I look forward to having you here again. Thank you. You enjoy the rest of your day as well. You too. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.